Just waking up and seeing him around me every day, it's like looking at the devil every day. Just see him smile at you, and you know, you know what he means. You're not gonna say anything. To see him hold your cousins, to see him look after your other cousins, you know, I, I couldn't handle that. It would haunt me every night. But I wouldn't tell anyone. Half of me was saying, go and tell someone, and half of me was saying, you don't know how to tell someone. Because you're still young, they'll just look at you like, oh, you're a kid. No one's going to listen to you. Just sitting in the courtroom, just, you know, it's devastating. It's a shock to even be in there. It was just chilling. Like, you know, I had chills down my spine, I was shaking. I uh, sat in this box and as I entered, I noticed that there was this huge square screen that was blocking him. I couldn't see his face, but he could see mine on the camera. And I didn't feel comfortable sitting there because he was watching me. And just knowing that I couldn't see his face just made me angry. Everyone was staring at me and they had, didn't look like they cared at all. There was like no expression in their face say at all. It tore me apart. I tried and I tried all for nothing. Cause now he's free, he's gonna go door to much more people. It's like the worst feeling you could ever imagine. Everybody looked at me as a, as a liar. I wasn't lying. I just wanted to tell the truth. It's not worth telling the truth if nothing's going to happen, right? I should have just kept it to myself. He took something special away from me, and that was my childhood. I did get some help from some police officers that really pushed me in life. And it made me realise all the opportunities out there. Thank you for doing everything you guys could for me, and for making me the person I am today. You know, all the people that have been hurt, you know, you still can get up on your feet and carry on. No matter what, you still got that time. So don't give up.